Welcome to the CDOC's tip of the day. Let's continue our conversation about the virtual articulator. When we utilize it in the software, which I recommend you do every single time, we are utilizing what's called average values. Average values are the engineers in programming the articulator. They went to a bunch of different patients, looked at their anatomy, and said this is the average of all of these patients. This is no different than if you were to send your case to a laboratory and the laboratory mounts your models, but they don't have a face bow, they don't have any records, they're just kind of using an arbitrary average value. We can dial this in per patient if you have a cone beam. So let me give you an example of a couple of different settings that we can adjust. So one example would be the base setting. Okay, The base is the intercondylar distance, the distance from the center of one condyle to the center of the other. On a normal articulator, you cannot adjust this. It is what it is. You have to use it as a set tool. Uh, but in the CIRAC virtual articulator, if I have a cone beam and I look at the scan from above, I can literally measure the condylar setting and then go ahead and transfer that to the virtual articulator. That's just one example. Another example is our sagittal setting. That's our condylar inclination. That's when the condyle travels down the eminence. What is that angle? How do we get that on a regular articulator? We take what's normally what we take a protrusive bite. How do I do that in the CIRAC software? Well, we have a, a device called the Jaw Tracker from CCAT, and it measures the movements, and it measures the condylar movements, and I can, from a cone beam, transfer that to the virtual articulator. So while the virtual articulator is average, for most cases, that's perfectly fine. For those advanced cases where you need more information, we can certainly utilize our cone beam and really dial in that information.